Welcome into the survival series. Today we are starting off with absolutely nothing, no money. The goal with this is to have our farm up and operational. Uh, this is a, a map that allows us to do a lot of logging. We're going to be starting off with the firewood mod as we go into the series and progress from there. So let's hop over. Let's drive over to our farm and see what we got. We inherited this lovely piece of land. And we're going to see what is we are in store for. We're going to get our trailer loaded up here. We have some pallets on it so we can go ahead and... Gather that firewood and get it all sold. This piece of property was given to us by our grandfather, and uh, it's been neglected for some years, and we're on this lovely, lovely land here. I haven't been back here in a while, uh, so we're going to see what we can do. We have a chainsaw, an axe, our truck, and a trailer. Ah, the good old Johnsons over here. Lovely people. I uh, used to go hang out with them when I was very young. I haven't been back to this area in, oh, about 20 years. Got my trusty Ford. A lot of logging, not much farming going on in this area. Uh, all farms that are here are no, pretty much no longer in intact. Oh! Let's see if I remember which way we're going. Like I said, it's been been almost 20 years since I've been back here. Nice little setup there. That's pretty cool. Hope that wasn't my turn. Ah, there is the sawmill. That's where we'll be bringing our lumber to to get everything sold, make our money, and start buying some more property. Let's go and uh, talk to them and see. Wait, is, wait, is this not operational anymore? Oh, man. Yep, we're definitely going to have to do some selling of our firewood because it doesn't, it's all grown in. Man, we're going to have to see if we can talk to the owners and buy this property and get it all cleaned up because this is not going to do. Well, at least we know what our goal is. Our goal is going to buy that and get it operational again. I know this town had taken a turn for the worse, but we're going to get it turned around. Right here we are. We are on the property. Man, everything is just overgrown up in here. As you can see, there's no fields here anymore. 
Uh, my grandfather owned all this property, about 26 acres back in here, all these trees. So our goal is to get this cut out. Uh, then we'll buy some tractors, get land put down, and get some crops growing. Yeah, we got some nice trees back in here. Got some stumps. We'll get it all cleared out and get going. First thing we need to do is clear out this patch of woods here so we can get back, back to everything. Let's get to work. Let's start making some money. We're going to start with a relatively small farm, nothing too crazy, um, you know, and build up as we go, hopefully. Uh, we are negative a dollar currently, so we got to start making that money. I am using the firewood uh, as a great starting point for sales. There are a couple spots for us to sell the firewood at. I believe we passed one on our way in as well. Get some of these trees cut down. Then we'll get it all split up so we can chop it into some firewood. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. Timbering trees can be dangerous. Excuse me, tree. Let me get through here. There we go. Once we get this area cleared out back here, let's see if we can't get rid of this little guy. We will hopefully then be able to sell all this for a decent price. Let's go get our trusty axe out. Let's get our trusty axe out of the toolbox. All right. We're going to grab one of these pallets and throw it in the truck. That way we can just move the truck over to the area and get some of this sold so we can make some money back. Go ahead and disconnect that.
Yeah, we'll park it right there for now. Oh yeah, split this up into some nice firewood. Grab our chainsaw. Oh yeah, look at that. Getting split up into lovely, lovely pieces. Hopefully they're looking for some sales. rid of this there we go I have to clean up these trees here only thing is I don't want to carry this all the way so we'll, we'll move we'll move our truck then but we'll go ahead and cut this up for now and start splitting this up as well Oh, we're about half full already. We're, we're making really good progress on this. Let's get rid of this stump as well. As we progress further, we'll buy stump grinders and get them cut up that way. That'll help out. piece again it might be a little bit too big for our our palette let's take a look where we're at oh yeah we're getting close there to filling it up I like these small pieces that are a little easier to chop up for us. Let's get rid of this stump here. Just go ahead and we'll cut this. Well, we'll cut this tree down first, because it looks like they're tangled up. Oh, don't hit my truck! Don't hit my. Oh, that was close. It hit my truck. Well, we'll have to get that buffed out. That's not good. Get rid of this stump here. We'll get it cleaned up off our truck. That way we can actually take it out of here. Yep, definitely. Definitely fell on the old truck.
make this piece. See if we can't scoot her off here. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't look too badly damaged. I think we'll be okay to take it in at least. Because that's the only truck we got right now. Get another cut in here. Let's see how full we are. Uh, we should be able to cut this piece up as well. Now we can grab another couple pieces here. I think that's going to do it for that. That's nah, putting a heck of a load on the truck, though. All right, let's strap her down. Take it in for some sales. This is going to be a very challenging playthrough. Like I said, we're starting with zero money. And we're lose we're down about $17 right now. So we're going to have to keep progressing and making money along the way here. Uh, we're just going to sleep in the truck and, and, until we can afford to get uh, a home base built and a house. Uh, so we're just going to have to sleep in the truck overnight and see how, you know, just, just try to get through this and make money. I think I saw a sell point right here. Ah, oh, yes. I think we accept it here. Yep. Ah, oh, right there is $8,000 worth of wood sales. We took our pallet. Excellent. There's fuel here if we need any fuel. That's going to be quite handy for us. So let's get back and, and start cutting up some more wood. Start making more firewood. Keep progressing on with the day. And... Uh, try to get ourselves out of debt and we'll have to buy this this sawmill it's all overrun with with debris as you can see we'll get it all cleaned out and uh, operational pull up beside here we'll load another pallet on um, and then we'll do a little bit of a time lapse from here and try to get all this cut out Hop up on the trailer here, throw it on, and we'll get to cutting some more lumber. Let's orient that a little bit better. I think that should work. Let's get this into position. We'll cut our logs up and keep whacking away at everything we'll move the truck this time uh, before we do any more damage to it that should work so we'll get this cut up split up and start knocking the rest of this trees down to get everything cleared out and I will see you right after this time lapse <laughs>
got ourselves another pallet loaded up we'll run this and sell it as well <laughs>
we have this last little bit to clean up here and we're going to have all of this area uh, opened up so we can get the whole way back in here. Looks like we have one more pallet left after this. Uh, so we'll definitely have to go back and restock on our pallets. Uh, fortunately for us, they're not too expensive. We'll run up to the store and pick some of those up after we're done. We'll take this one more load in. Uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is probably uh, s take a sleep for the night as it's getting late in the evening. Like I said, we're going to have to sleep in our truck for the time being, but that's okay. It's all going to be worth it in the end. This firewood's actually selling pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. We're getting about uh, between seven and eight thousand dollars a load of it currently, so we're making really good progress with it. Uh, I can't wait until we can buy the uh, the sawmill and get it all taken to the sawmill. I'm thinking we buy a small tractor here very soon and try to get this turned into farmland uh, as it is still early spring here so we still have a chance to get some crops in the ground and make some money that way this is a survival role play series that we're, we're starting and it is awesome to have you guys along for the ride I hope you are enjoying we'll take this one last load for sale And then when we start out on episode two, we will be buying a tractor. Oh, that is it. All right, we'll move this over to the edge of the field for now. We have a couple options in tractors. Uh, we'll be starting out small and building up from there. And see how how far we how long we can survive and how many seasons we can get into. So let's get this all taken over and sold for the night, and see how much money we. Make. And we have this last little bit to clean up here, and we're going to have all of this area uh, opened up so we can get the whole way back in here. Looks like we have one more pallet left after this, uh, so we'll definitely have to go back and restock on our pallets. Uh, fortunately for us, they're not too expensive. We'll run up to the store and pick some of those up after we're done. We'll take this one more load in. Uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is probably uh, s take a sleep for the night as it's getting late in the evening. Like I said, we're going to have to sleep in our truck for the time being, but that's okay. It's all going to be worth it in the end. This firewood's actually selling pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. We're getting about uh, between seven and eight thousand dollars a load of it currently, so we're making really good progress with it. Uh, I can't wait until we can buy the uh, the sawmill and get it all taken to the sawmill. I'm thinking we buy a small tractor here very soon and try to get this turned into farmland uh, as it is still early spring here so we still have a chance to get some crops in the ground and make some money that way this is a survival role play series that we're, we're starting and it is awesome to have you guys along for the ride I hope you are enjoying we'll take this one last load for sale And then when we start out on episode two, we will be buying a tractor. Oh, that is it. All right, we'll move this over to the edge of the field for now. We have a couple options in tractors. Uh, we'll be starting out small and building up from there. And see how how far we how long we can survive and how many seasons we can get into. So let's get this all taken over and sold for the night, and see how much money we made. We made thirty four thousand so far. All 
I really, really like this area my grandfather owned. It, it, it's very lovely. Um, we're we're going to be right next to the edge here. Um, there's definitely some good property we can buy, too. And with us logging out that whole area over there, uh, once we are able to purchase the sawmill, that will help us out immensely. We'll be able to take it right over there to the sawmill, get it up and running. Uh, but we're going to have to do it the hard way with, with firewood until we can purchase that. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see who owns that and see how much we can buy, purchase it for. Another $7,900. So we're up to $42,000 for the day. I think that's a great start on our first day here. Uh, you know, fortunately for us, our grandfather owned, like I said, around 26 acres. Uh, we have that, that going for us. Um, but being able to get the sawmill up and running will definitely be able to, to make some more money. Um, I, I think we want to concentrate on getting a tractor and a plow right now to get this plowed in. So when we when we come into our next episode, we'll uh, we'll be buying some pallets and hopefully a tractor as well. We'll stop our truck there. Like I said, we got this all cleared out. That's much better. Now we have access around our our farm here. We can come right in here and start clearing this out. That is quite lovely. We'll bring this path the whole way back here. Um, and then we'll start clearing out these trees all up in here. So we can make our field a little bit bigger. Uh, but more importantly, we can put down a house so we don't have to sleep in our truck. Uh, so that is the plan for this. We'll get this all, all ready to rock and roll for our first season. We can hopefully sell some of this uh, sawdust as well. We'll see if anyone is, is looking to sell that. So I'm going to run over and see if to the, the local library and see if I can find who owns that sawmill. And we'll get that, uh, see how much they're looking for that. So thank you all for being here. I hope you had a great time on your first episode of our survival roleplay series. I will be back with more episodes very soon. Thank you all so much and see you very soon.